All right, welcome everybody to the Three Way Podcast Show. My name is Los. I am your host, the most host. Yeah. AKA Public Enemy 59. Bye, and man. behind the magic of it all, looking oh, down upon us from the depths of the galaxy, what? the man that creates this whole show, we got Eli, AKA. Jerks. So uh, I'm sorry I look weird on the YouTube side. I don't know why I look so weird. I look so digital. Like um Well when you're in space eight bit crazy things happen. Oh that's true. Yeah. Um we got a lot of news to get into. It's been a big week of in, in the in entertainment. So fuck it. Let's go. Uh we're gonna start off with gaming. Game over. I feel like my yeah. I live, uh, my intros are getting worse and worse as we go on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so in gaming, we're going to start off with PlayStation. So Sony has announced an attachment what? for the DualShock 4. What? A back button, customizable back button. Just in time because it's Just, almost over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pre-orders are up. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really seen anybody pretty hyped about this. It's it's weird. It's different. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, who was asking for this? I don't know. I They're, think I think it's supposed to be like a cheaper version. Well, cheaper way to do what Scuff is doing for them. Yeah, um, but, I agree. <clears throat> but the thing is, the PlayStation should have like come out with their own version of their like elite controller like xbox has to be i, I agree i agree the the lack of you know customization that the dualshock 4 has yeah it for sony for all of us all of a sudden to be like hey here's a back button <laughs> a year from the playstation 5 seems yeah. kind of late to me seems pointless uh, maybe they're just testing the waters. Maybe they're like, okay, let's see if anybody actually buys this uh, like piece of attachment to their controller. And if they do for the PS5, we're going to be like, all right, we're going to go full blown PlayStation 4, 5 DualShock Elite controller. I think it, 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 if people buy this, it'll make, it'll make Sony believe, okay, so we don't have to pop out a expensive controller with the system. We could just do a cheap DualShock 5. Yeah. And if you want to buy attachments for it, you can. Yeah. That's what this tells me. Because if they would, if they would have believed in a in a pro controller, no, they would have released it. They would have done that already, and see if people like that and released a pro controller with the PS5. So this to me is them trying to find a way to make the system cheaper, come next year, and try to see if they can sell things on the side for people that want it. If this works, which I don't think it will. Okay. I mean, I think these guys are trying to cut costs at any moment, on any any way for the PS5. So that means, hey, we don't have to come out with a, mm-hmm. with a, you know, um, a great control. Like, not, not great, but like all, uh, you know, features mm-hmm. on the controller. Then let's cut costs in that way. Well, but, I would say that too. Yeah, but... I don't think they're going to have any issues selling their system. I mean, right now they're like, everybody loves PlayStation. So yeah, that's true. regardless of what they do for the next system, it's going to sell well for them. I mean, well, we'll see. That's what Xbox thought. And look at them. What are you talking about? Oh, TV, no TV, this and stream. And no, and they just, they just missed, and, and they missed up. They, they had, were winning. They had a different plan that completely backfired on them because of the yeah. current CEO or whatever. And that's the the thing, of that. No one's safe. Even if PlayStation had the, a great, generation no one i think playstation is fine one f up their their grandfather then presentation of that console no it could it all matter. go away yes no it doesn't matter their Game, grandfather have in. you not seen the internet and gamers They're, these guys trigger over matter. anything it and they will matter. write their grandfather did They're, they'll be fine all right <laughs> um apple arcade <laughs> is in, in in order to entice more people into mm. Apple Arcade. Yeah. Apple Arcade has Enticing made it, Daddy. giving you a cheaper option to dive in. So it is now $50 to get in for the whole year. $10 Ooh. cheaper than if you were to do the subscription, five bucks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so 
Yeah, not not really a big deal. I feel like if they would have made the subscription cheaper, okay, that would have been be- better. Like if you do go the monthly route. But you, they you, chose you, to. Did you try the trial? I did. What'd you think of it? I, I think there's some good games, man. Uh, but to me, some it, it wasn't enough there in that first week. Mm. Now, granted, there's been some other games released since then, and that I've. I hear a lot of good things about. Yeah. I think the service is going to get better. Um, but there wasn't enough in that first week for me to say, like, okay, I want to pay another $5 for this. Oh, okay. Monthly. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, and, and I feel the same about uh, Apple TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, great couple of shows they let you get into, but was this enough for me to pay another, What what's Apple TV, like $8? I don't know. No, I don't know. You're like, isn't it like five bucks or something? Maybe Six, I don't seven know. dollars. Yeah, another like it's just too much, man. And I can't be throwing five dollars at all these places. Come so. on, man, you got the money. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, I mean, honestly, I'm I'm debating within myself back and forth to to subscribe again or not because there is some like good stuff coming out on there. Right. Uh, that um, what was that game that got announced during the Game Awards? Which one? Uh, for uh, Apple Arcade. Um, yeah, there was this game that was announced in, during the Game Awards, and it released at the, the same day. Mm, um, no, I don't remember about Arca- Apple Arcade, since I really don't give a shit about it. <laughs> I was like, man, I, it's, it's bad enough that I play a shit ton of video games at home. I don't need to be playing them on the road, too. So I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, damn it, I'm trying to look for it, but... Well, uh, I cannot find it, so whatever. Uh, was it uh fucking uh, uh clan clashers or whatever it's called? I, th- I think <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, doesn't matter. But uh, there's some stuff on there. Um, Candy Crush. <laughs> nah, not chill. Uh, nah, there's some stuff on there that looks solid. Oh, it was the the hockey game that takes like sports all kinds of sports it was weird oh uh, the one they keep advertising where they have like different types of uh athletes all put yeah together from different yeah yeah sports yeah. yeah that's stupid i didn't even look into it i, <laughs> I saw it, like they were trying to promote they promoted the shit out of it too on twitter i kept seeing like commercials for it or ads for it excuse me no it, and, like, it looks I was, interesting like, who the fuck cares about all these people putting them all together i don't give a shit about you hey, <laughs> hey, hey take it easy no 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 and then the there's another game that's called um uh, What's it called? Uh, Builder's Journey, which looks pretty good, too. But anyways, not enough for me. I mean, I, I've been going back and forth. You know, you get a bunch of games. It's only five bucks, but I'm just kind of like still meh on it. Uh, but we'll see. Um, so I'm not paying 50 bucks. That's for damn sure. I'll probably pay the five dollars. Check it out for a month. Nah, see if it's worth it. You $50. Come on, chief. Um, so the author of the Witcher books... And CD Projekt Red, the developers of The Witcher games, have finally come to a resolution regarding the licensing. So it looks like CD Projekt has it for, uh, I don't know how how much more time. Well, what happened is that um, the author, like, initially he got paid up front for the rights for The Witcher series Uh and whatnot. Yeah. And instead of taking the, like... Um, like a percentage of yeah, the sales. Option. He uh, was like, ain't, "Ain't nobody gonna be playing this. Ain't nobody gonna care about this. Like, yeah. this is for he bucks. just took his money and was and, like, oh yeah, it's a good yeah. deal.' Yeah. So he took the money up front, didn't take the the percentage. But now it turns out, hey, which is pretty popular, which is making a lot of money, which uh, is on yeah. Netflix. Like, um, the guy was like, "Wait a minute, y'all making a shit ton of money. I want some more money." And then he was like, "Give me sixteen million dollars in royalties." Like, boy, you thought you ain't gonna get shit. <laughs> but uh, CD Projekt um, eventually said, "Okay, we're gonna give him some money, not sixty million. So they they kind of like said it like like fuck you, we don't have to really pay you, but we're gonna pay you anyways. And then on top of that, they were like, let's let's make another deal for the future because uh, I think their contract was uh, was expired now. Yeah. So yeah, so they renewed their uh, their agreement." Um, my man's gonna be getting paid. His name is Andrzejski Zapkowski. All right, thank you for <laughs> making The Witcher, but you better be on your knees for, uh, for CD Projekt Red 
because they made your franchise worldwide. So, Facts. yeah, you you created it, but CD Projekt Red showed you know, it to the world. You know, you know what the funny thing about it is too? The guy who the author, he's like ninety something years old. What the oh, hell? God. What the hell is he gonna do with all that money? Get himself some young chicks, man. My bad, he's seventy one. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to get himself some chicks, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it for gaming. I mean, we are at the end of the year, guys. Hell yeah, she's so, dead. So there is no <laughs> games coming out. I mean, whatever's coming out is like fodder. But fuck Apple Arcade. I'm going to tell fodder. you Fodder. You know, I've been watching a lot of Star Wars. We'll get to that later. Oh. So next up is sports. <sighs> Goal. Touchdown. It's a home run. Yo. Sports. Sports. Space sorts. Space sorts. Uh, the MLB offseason is off and running. Uh-oh. We just saw Garrett Cole betray the Houston Nationals and sign with the Yankees. Betray the Houston Nationals. Record numbers. Record numbers. Uh, yeah, what a monster. Yeah, he's he's set for life. His kids are set for life. His grandkids are set for life. It's done. Uh and the, he got presented. He, he did a press conference with the Yankees. And when you play for the Yankees, it is mandatory. You got to shave. shave and you got yeah. to cut your hair. Or Short like, hair, no facial hair. Yeah. yeah. So this fool looking like a damn loser at this press conference <laughs> with his shit shaved and shit. Uh, uh, but yeah, more power to him, man. I'll, I'll probably do the same for, you know, $500 million. But whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, so he... He got presented, you know, congratulations to Cole. I hope all is well. I hope you uh, sprain your ankle. Uh, wow. Also in MLB, there's rumors going on. Francisco Lindor, the player for the Cleveland Indians, one of the best players in the league, sure. rumors that he could be tra- traded. What? Yeah, he's going to get why traded. Would, as, in, as Cleveland, why bye would bye. you trade one of the centerpieces of your squad? I don't know. But it seems interesting. We'll keep y'all updated if any movements are actually made, which there's sure to be a bunch. Uh, but yeah, right now, I mean, it, I thought there were going to be more moves being made, more signings being made. It's really been small things, uh, people, you know, just filling in the debt. There hasn't really been much movement made yeah. uh, other than like Cole and Strasburg going back to the Nationals, Cole going to New York. Uh, yeah, that's it. So we'll see. There's still some uh, good good uh, players out there in free agency. So And maybe some more trades to be made. So we'll see. Ash is going back to the World Series or no? Uh, y- yes. I think they could still beat the, Yan- <clears throat> the Yankees in a seven-game series. Um Yes, the Yankees got Cole, but, uh, you know, one pitcher who the Astros made isn't going to change the whole perspective. I think uh, Yankees still have a problem when it comes to hitting. Will the Astros continue cheating? Uh, everybody cheats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's it for sports. Anything else in sports? I don't know. There's basketball. There's football. You know, you love them all. Well, we we talked about the Hump Day show last week regarding football. Um, You could just go back to this past Wednesday's Hump Day show where we kind of go over the last two uh, weeks of the season, uh, what we think is going to happen, and our playoff predictions uh, of who we think is going to make the playoffs. So, really, we want to wait out the last two seasons and see who was right, who was wrong, which I always seem to be right. Okay. Uh, and we'll, we'll go back to that. So expect some more, uh, you know, uh, videos, cast regarding uh, the NFL once we get into the playoffs. Okay. Uh, as far as the NBA, I mean, <laughs> I've spoken about this uh, the end of last season. You know, there's really... Do you think now that um, the Warriors are pretty much nothing, has the NBA become kind of boring because there's nobody like to root against? No, to be honest, I feel like the NBA uh, root against. Uh, yeah, I mean, pr- pretty much everybody hates like the people on top but loves the underdog. But when the underdog is on top, everybody starts to hate them. That's true because when Golden State first won it, it was kind of like, okay, this team 
shouldn't be winning it. You know, no one really thought, and they did, and yeah. it was a, and then they started winning more, and then people hated him. So that's yeah. the thing, like people. That's what I'm saying. But now that it pretty much is all even all across the board. I no, mean, I think. Do you NBA, feel like now it's kind of like there's a lot of parody? Yeah, but now it's like. I think the NBA is better <laughs> off for it. Uh, I think parody around the league is more entertaining. Uh, I would love to see the right? numbers on this, to be honest. Like, huh? I, I would love to see the numbers this this season um, compared to the last is season. It, didn't I see a report uh, not so uh, a week ago or so that NBA numbers are down? Oh, really? Yeah. A uh, percentage of, of people watching, uh, I believe, is down. But I, I feel like that might not be a wise number to just look at. I think there a lot more goes into it. But... Yeah, my but my problem with the NBA is refereeing. I feel like the referees have too much, uh, too much uh, control of the game. Too many games are decided, especially come playoff times. Uh, too many games are decided on the cause of these refs. I feel like these refs are too involved. Uh, mm. And until the NBA addresses that problem. I, I, I'm not going to give myself to a whole NBA season mm -hmm. for it to end me being pissed off because of a blown call. Oh, okay. Right? I feel like other leagues are uh, upping their game. Baseball has introduced replay. Well, they have NFL replay in NBA. NFL has introduced uh, more expansion on their replay. FIFA has VAR. And NBA, I feel, is one of the ones lagging most. Uh, you know, there's a lot you can't challenge. Uh and a lot that's not reviewable in the NBA, and I get oh, it's a okay. fast-moving sport, but yeah, that uh, uh, to me that's a huge problem. Okay. And it, there's no consistency. One game, you know, LeBron's getting hacked, hacked all over. They let him play. Okay, cool. But the next game, you know, but there you have, but then another game you have LeBron James getting called for every single drive in. So. I need consistency. That's my problem. With it. Okay, but you can't have consistency. I mean, there's bets everywhere, baby. You know what I'm saying? Money to be made. Everybody cheats. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that's it for sports. Uh, we're gonna move into pop culture. Pop. pop. Uh, so Star Wars came out. Uh, the Rise of Skywalker. Now we will not be speaking of it here at the show on this show. Uh, on the podcast, uh, we will be releasing a Hump Day show on Yo. Wednesday dedicated to talking about Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. Uh, so It's going to be extra thick. Check it out Wednesday. Go watch the movie because it's spoiler. It's, it's a yeah, spoiler it's a, cast. It's a spoiler cast. So spoilers. go watch it. Check out our, our review of it on Wednesday. You can find that on... Uh, the, go watch it on Tuesday where it's like $5. <laughs> this guy... Are we doing that? No. <laughs> I'm already seen it, but um, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 oh, I'm, you mean I'm Tuesday? Informing go pay. the people. Go pay. Oh, I might go watch it again then. If just go to the theater by myself and watch it. Ew. Hell yeah. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, you can catch it on a hum day show that comes out uh weekly every Wednesday on YouTube. Go to the Three Way Podcast. You'll find it there. Yo. A bunch of content. All of our content is on there. A bunch of content. Hours and hours and months and months hours and days and days and of hours. content. Go watch it. Uh, it's it, it's going to be good. I cannot wait to talk about it. it uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, enough said. Uh, next thing on our list, A Quiet Place 2. The sequel to the... Uh, to the uh, well, uh, much acclaimed... Uh, first movie that released a year ago or so ago. It was like two years ago, I believe. It was two, one year ago. Uh, it was they, a, it was a teaser. Uh, they yeah. teased a, a trailer. They did, did a teaser trailer and uh, put on their March of 2020 is when this movie is going to be coming out. Yeah. Uh, little trailer. It's Emily Blunt, uh, but, you know, uh, walking, not trying to make any noise. They come to that path and you can't <clears> see anything. Like, oh, no, she takes a step and it makes a little bit of noise and she's probably going to die right yeah, after that. Yeah, she's fucked. Yeah, she's yeah, going to die. Fucked. Uh, GGs. But no, nah, man, I'm excited for this because I really like the first movie. I love the first one. Yeah, it, it, it was out of... It was different. It was unlike anything I've seen. No. Yeah. And it kind of nailed it and it had you on the edge of your seat and there <laughs> were a lot of quiet seat. moments in that movie and it worked. Yeah. I really liked it, so I'm excited about this uh, second uh, movie, man. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait. I think John Krasinski is back to directing again. 
Um, I can't wait. I don't know. I, I, I want to see more. Let's get drunk and watch it. Yeah, I'm naked. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, in a quiet place. Um, Ooh. Yeah. No, but yeah, man. Uh, I, I liked it a lot. I, I'm excited for it. Yeah. Uh, let us let us know, guys. Do you care? Are you gonna watch this movie? Are you hyped? Uh, it's on Netflix, no? What Quiet Place. The first one. The first one. Uh, I think it is on Netflix. I'm not. Or maybe I'm tripping. Maybe no, I, I know I've seen it on one of those streaming websites. Okay. It's somewhere. Yeah. It's somewhere. Um. Also, speaking about Netflix. Uh, the Witcher series. You know, we were talking about CD Projekt Red earlier. Uh, but the Witcher TV show, on or Netflix. streaming show, it just came out on Netflix, uh, December twentieth. The full release. Full release. How many episodes is it? I don't know. I was trying to. I was gonna go look that up, but I forgot to. <laughs> but so far, they're like an hour each. I'm like three episodes in. Okay. And I'm not gonna lie though. Don't the, spoil it. For I'm not gonna. Me. No, no, no. I'm not gonna spoil shit. But the first episode was fucking boring. I fell asleep. Wow. But it gets better. <laughs> okay, that's what I heard. To be honest, uh, from seeing things on Twitter, yeah, people are like it starts off slow, but then it really picks up in the end, and it's super entertaining. Yeah. Uh, have you seen any boobies? Any what? Any boobies? Oh, there's plenty of boobies. <gasps> For real? A lot of boobies. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> nah, uh, nah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it. We might do a hump day show on The Witcher. Uh. At some point, so if you, we'll get back at y'all about that, but uh, uh, I, I believe we are going to do that. So, uh, no, yeah. I'm excited about this. I just haven't had the time to start watching, but I do want to dedicate a bunch of time to just watching The Witcher and delving into that world. I never really played none of the games. Me neither. So, um, just to go reiterate, A Quiet Place is on Hulu for free. Well, not mm. free, but it's on Hulu if you want to watch mm. it. Okay. Uh, but, but yeah, no, no I never, I never played any of the games. I have. Oh, actually, I'm lying. I think I played Witcher two, and I, I thought like the, the, the mechanics they had for the, the magic, whatever, it was too complicated for me. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm up just check out of this. <laughs> like mm. I was like, I don't know what's going on. So, uh, Witcher two was confusing. Imagine three. Well, um, three got a lot of praise, so I'm assuming they dumped it down a little bit for me. <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe. Yeah. Well, I, I do want to watch the show, and maybe that'll kind of give me the push to go and dive into the to the game. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, all right, guys. So we are getting into spoiler territory now. The Mandalorian Episode 7 came out a little earlier on spoiler, a spoiler, 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 uh, watch The Mandalorian. You can just cut it now. Peace. Yeah. You we're at the end of the show. Thank you. Just like uh, and subscribe. Like <laughs> and subscribe before you leave. Uh, but for those of you who have watched it, man. 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 Okay, so I love it how they took every everything, the culmination of what's happened throughout the whole season. Yeah. Right? They, they take characters from almost all of these episodes. Mm-hmm. Bring him back, right? No. Because Mando needs some help. Mando needs some help. He wants to go kill this this warlord. I and have spoken. Empire leader. And so he goes back and gets the other, ba- the ex-combat chick. Ex-combat chick. He goes get the wise old alien guy. Wise old alien and guy. And he forms a super team, basically. Team super. Takes Baby Yoda, goes back. I like how... Uh, oh, okay. I was kind of like, bro, this guy's going to betray you, right? The bounty uh, uh, order leader. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. What? Oh, my God. I didn't know. I did not know that. Uh, okay. So that, that one guy that he met in that one planet where he found the baby, mm-hmm. um, that, that guy's like, I have spoken. You know, that weird alien yeah. thing. Uh, his name is Q, 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 U, I, I, L, something. Like, I don't know. Anyways, the voice actor, that's Nick Nolte. I didn't even know that. That's... Oh, Nick Nolte. And yeah. Then, and, then, and then that robot I that he has that. with him is IG-11. That's Taiyoki Awata, the director for Thor, yeah. Love and Thunder. The Marvel guy. Yeah, yeah. 
Man, they have a lot of like uh, pool in this. Yeah, last week you guys were talking about Bill Burr. Oh, uh, yeah, the Bill girl Burr. is from Game of Thrones. No. The girl that Mando used to have a thing with. Uh, she's the Carl Dune. Carl Dune. Yeah, she's the she's former the shock girl, trooper. She's the girl that uh, the the she was a slave in Game of Thrones. Gina Carano. Yeah, she was. She's like. Uh, the, uh, she, she was, was a, she was in the UFC. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. No, 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 not Gia. No, no, no. The the alien chick that Mando had a thing with is a character in Game of Thrones. The alien chick, I don't remember. The yeah, you gotta uh yeah. So anyways, they're grabbing characters. What the fuck the, is he like, talking about? Artists from all over. Actors from everywhere, actresses, uh, and they're putting them in the, in the Mandalorian. It's pretty badass. No, but he, the bounty hunter guy, the leader. I'm uh, like, bro, this guy's gonna betray guild, you. From the guild, yeah, Car Weathers' his character. Uh, yeah, basically, we find out that he's like, hey, we, it's all good now. Just help me out. Like, yeah, okay, like, bro, come on. But it's pretty You're fucking really obvious. Go, but he knows he needs to either way, betrayal or not. He needs to go back and kill this fool. Well, it's more of that in like his whole like what's it called the uh, not respect but like just pride I guess I don't know what it was but he he has to do it because he's a man of honor that's what it is I guess uh my badass part baby Yoda this fool okay baby Yoda he's like not the really a baby because he's fifty years old but he looks like a baby this fool's over here healing wounds oh yeah. Like, like, how much? Like we finally get to see what the fuck he was about to do when he was put, about to put somebody, put his hand on something. And then, like, uh, Gina's character is like, no, 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 let's see what happens, fool. And, yeah, sure enough, he has uh, force powers to heal. But um, I thought that was interesting. Um, I like how, like, he kind of, like, oh, you know, fainted again <laughs> a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but, uh I thought that was interesting, and I, I'm 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 kind of like mad or disappointed that he they still don't let him talk. Like I wonder how how old they have to be, like the Yoda yeah. race, in order for them to talk. Cause yeah. I I, I kind of need this fool to say something real quick. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man, if baby so if baby Yoda talks, bro, the internet will go crazy. I hope and so. It, imagine if it was like two words. <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> Fuck up. Uh, yeah, no, I. I that was pretty cool. The whole battle with the like flying aliens that they encountered. Oh yeah, those like flying looking yeah. pterodactyl things, and yeah. they, they stole their fucking uh, water buffalo looking ass shits. Yeah. yeah, and they killed one of the hunters, the bounty. Yeah, hunters. they they killed a, a, some of the bounty hunters. They uh, yeah, I thought that part was pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty like intense. And then you know, uh, I like the. You said what was the bounty alliance or bounty? the guild? The guild. <laughs> the guild leader, he uh you know he you know baby yoda heals him so he you know goes ahead and says i can't kill this fool yeah um the when they go into the town mm -hmm. and they you know they're faking the whole thing i really liked all of that right the the how they fuck it they shoot this fool uh, they bring mando in acting like something Oh yeah, so they like did, he's a prisoner. They decided like like okay, we we need to kill whoever is like trying to get the baby because they will forever chase him down. So Mando's like, all right, fuck it, use me as bait. Say that you captured me because I mean I'm one of the ones they're looking for too. Um, say you captured me, and then we go in there and kill all these motherfuckers who want the baby, and then that'll be the end of it. So they're like, I right, fine. So the plan was to go do that. They they were kind of like gonna use the baby as bait anyways but now that this whole situation turned around where where the the guild leader was like look i was gonna kill you but now that, that i see what the baby is all about i can't i can't kill him yeah but it, and they send him back with q q cure 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 whatever the fuck his name um, is yeah so in the in the they're in the uh room with the uh empire leader mm -hmm. and they kill this fool which yay but then you really okay the this, client he was talking to someone through uh you know he was communicating yeah. obviously with some like 
other leader. Yeah, it turns out that that guy was not the one in charge. He was not the one who was really and pulling that's the strings. Shit. Like, okay, you're going, you're going through all of this to kill it and get things over with. Mm. No, there's another chain of command. Yeah. Right. Um. My uh, and then okay, blasters are going off everywhere. They huddle. They 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 you know get cover. And it turns out it was uh, stormtroopers on the outside. Another battalion. I don't know. Just shoot up everybody in that in that in that uh, room in that building. Yeah. My thing for a moment, and I would have loved it if is if the robot. You know how Mando the whole episode was like, I hate droids. Like you know, yeah, yeah he showing his disdain for droids. droids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have loved it, and in the end, right there, it would have been the droid to get him out of that shit. And by the way, where I, is I, the droid? I felt like that would have been too obvious. Like, I I was, like, expecting that, too. Yeah, but I would have liked it because I'm like, see, motherfucker, droid saved your ass. But no, it was stormtroopers on the outside. Um, but whatever. Uh, so that's kind of where the episode ends is these fools trapped in that building, the stormtroopers outside, another leader out yeah. there. I, I'm. I kind of. Is that the same leader that the guy was talking to, or no? Yeah, it was. Oh, it, it was. was the same. It was. Okay, so now this is the next. Now, r- what the crazy shit that happens is these guy, these uh, stormtroopers and speeders go and kill Q, kill, and they take Baby Yoda. Yeah, they snatch that fool. Snatch right. that fool. Like, damn. Like, what? So homeboy's dead. No. Yeah. Right. That's fucked up. And then second, they took Baby Yoda. Yeah. And now we're at a standstill. What's going to happen with the heroes against the Empire, right? So, Mm -hmm. great setup, I think, for the last episode. Yeah, the final episode is coming this week. Yeah, the final episode. Oh, man, can't wait till Friday. Man, I got a lot of things to watch. Um, (laughs) But, yeah, man, this show continues to deliver. Now they leave you hanging with Baby Yoda. They better not kill Baby Yoda, bro. They might kill him. They better not kill Baby Yoda. We'll, we'll, I'll, we'll riot, bro. I don't know. This we'll is, kill this some is, people. This is set between episode uh, six and seven. And I mean, we haven't seen any Baby Yoda yet. Actually, in uh, uh, The Rise of Skywalker, <laughs> if you look real carefully. You ain't seen no Baby Yoda. Nah, but nah, bro. <laughs> they cannot kill Baby Yoda. Like know, that would. Did, I think nah. they're gonna. I think they're gonna pull. Like, I know. I know we're going to the last episode next week, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have like more seasons. But eventually, I think they are gonna kill off Mandalorian Mando. I think they are and gonna end kill him it off. There? No, not not this season. But eventually, I think they are gonna kill him off. Well, I feel like that would be the last. Yeah, it would be the like last the, episode, the last like episode. Whenever they end, decide to end the show, yeah, you you kill Mando in like the most res- honorable way you could think of and to I, kill a Mandalorian. And, and I think I think he dies killing uh, Boba Fett because I think what JP was saying last time was that that we see like a silhouette or whatever of Boba yeah. or his his feet. I guess I think he's right. And I think that's who kills him, and you know, Mando kills Boba as well. They haven't said that there's a season two, right? I don't think so. No. So what if it all ends tomorrow? I mean, tomorrow next week. Next, next week. Well, then he what? dies. Then the last episode. Then he dies protecting the baby. What? So you th- do you think Disney has the gauze to end this series? I mean, after I would, the I, popularity it's had, I would say yes because it's really expensive for them. Yeah. To just end it. Yeah, it's Disney. They can, they have Star Wars, man. They can do whatever they want. But end Mandalorian. When it, probably the most successful thing, critically, why, critical wise, that Disney has done with Star Wars. I mean, it is what it is. Damn. I would be shocked if, th- if this is the last episode. Shocked, uh, I tell you. Let me see here. Will there be a season two? The media here will be back for a second season. Oh, yeah. It is going to be back for a second okay. season. So shut that shit up. <laughs> Don't kill Baby Yoda. All right. Uh, you got anything else to say on Mandalorian? Uh, best show of the year. I agree. Better than Game of Thrones. I agree. 
better than The Witcher. <laughs> oh, we'll, uh, I'll, uh, I've yet to see about that. Um, it's a good show. All highly, right. highly, highly, highly recommend it. All right, guys. We're going to end the show with what we're playing. What have you been playing, bus? With myself. Huh. <laughs> uh, damn, all right. You want a serious answer. Uh, I've been playing... What have I been playing? I've been playing a lot of Fortnite and getting ready for the Fortnite World Cup 2020. Ooh. I'm coming through. Um, no, not really. I mean, I have been playing a lot more Fortnite, but fuck, it's hard for me to build. I can't do it. I'm playing on keyboard and mouse, but still, man, I'm like, fuck, hard times. Uh, I've been playing that. been playing Apex Legends. And uh, I was playing a little bit of Untitled Goose Game, which is pretty funny. And... This next week, I think I'm going to be playing some more, uh, some GTA 5 because uh, uh, I was gifted a GTA 5 on stream yesterday, on Friday. So I'll probably play some of that. I was thinking of doing some role playing in that, but we'll see. Uh, we have to find a, like a server for that. Um, but yeah, that's what, that's what I've been playing so far. Cool. Uh, I've been on uh, Death Stranding. Uh, I, I'm going through it little by little. The story continues to be the reason I keep coming back because I want to see what the hell happens. Uh, actually, and uh, I'll I'll see about letting you borrow it because you need to play that game at some point. Um, and uh, I've been uh, playing uh, Pokemon. Obviously, uh, it's kind of time extensive to build a, a badass team, so you can't just do it on one day. It's like constant, yeah, looking and trying to build a perfect team and shit. So. And then uh, I'm about to jump. I I, I have uh, some friends that just uh, got on Destiny Two. Okay. Uh, and actually, no, they they've been on it for a while, so they like uh, they kind of said yes, we'll carry you, because I not really deep in Destiny Two, so I'm thinking I'm about to jump in back into Destiny Two, maybe, and try to see how the hell, what I gotta buy and pay, like what currency I need to do this and that, so. I'll be kind of down to join you. I mean, yeah. it's it's cross save. I just yeah. have to download the game. Yeah, all you have to do is uh, go to your uh, Bungie account, link your PS4 to your Bungie account, and right. then when you log in in PS4, yep, your your profile will show up. So how f oh you're pretty far in Destiny too, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. Cause I need, like I said, I need a Sherpa. Um, we're gonna go to our final punches. What do you got to say? Nothing. All right, bet. I got two things. One, people that leave the sticker on their debit or credit cards are fucking terrible people. Their sticker. The sticker. You know where it's Oh, like, you have to call? <laughs> take the fucking sticker off and stop being a shitty human being. Why? What does it matter? Second, J.J. Abrams has saved Star Wars. All right, guys. That has been our episode. Oh, I have a lot to say about that. 18, a season lot 2 to say about of that. the three-way podcast. Uh, thank oh, you guys for lot watching. To say about that. <laughs> hey, hey. You, you decided you had nothing else to say, okay? So yeah. you cannot. No final punches for you. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Let us know what you think about the topics we spoke about. J.J. Abrams is our savior. All right. Wish him long and, 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 and peaceful life with many. Uh, many All right, moanies, goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. To his pockets. Bye.